Hi, I'm Mike Marinick and thanks for joining me today in another educational video about psoriasis. As you can see, I'm not in my normal video setting today. I decided to set up the camera in the kitchen so I can show you exactly how I got started. As I mentioned in previous videos, I was able to help my mother who suffered with psoriasis all of her life. And it all started in the kitchen with some basic items you can buy in the store or over the internet. And in this video, I'll tell you what I did, what I learned, and not only how it changed my mother's life, but how it changed mine as well. So let's get started by talking about what inspired me to try and develop my own solution for my mother's psoriasis problem. Over many years, I watched my mother try creams and lotions, herbal supplements, body washes, and many other products. It always seemed like one product would treat one of her symptoms and another would help with a different symptom, but none, nothing seemed to alleviate all of her symptoms of psoriasis. I'm sure you have found amazing products that will exfoliate the dead buildup of cells, but what you are left with is red blotches on your skin. Or you'll find one that soothes the itching and irritation, but does nothing to remove the redness or dryness. Growing up, I was always into health and nutrition, and the internet actually became a huge source of information for me. One day I was reading a medical journal that had an article about how people heal, and the study showed that people who were malnourished did not heal as quickly as people who were properly nourished. So I thought to myself, maybe my mother's body just doesn't have enough for the proper nutrition to heal itself normally. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I went to the bookstore and I bought a few books on natural skin care. These books provided me with basic recipes for creams and lotions that I could make right in my own kitchen. I figured if I could just use one base recipe, I could simply add the nutritional content that I wanted to create my own skin cream. So let's talk about some of the ingredients that I used. First of all, to make a cream you need to create what's called an emulsion. An emulsion is created when you combine oil and water-based ingredients at the right temperature under a high-speed mixer. Then you simply let the mixture cool down, and while it's mixing and cooling down, the final product becomes a cream. So getting the water was not a problem, and after reading these skincare books, I determined that sweet almond oil would be the best oil for use on the skin. And another ingredient that I chose to use was aloe vera. And there have been many books written about the healing properties of this amazing plant. It's known to be great for burns and for soothing the skin. I also knew that most of the products I found contained an ingredient called salicylic acid. Well, if you pick up an aspirin bottle and you look at the back, you'll see that aspirin is simply acetyl salicylic acid. And lastly, I wanted to incorporate something with rich nourishment into my formulation. And from past experience, I knew that the egg had every single vitamin, mineral, and protein that's necessary for life. Think about it. A baby chick actually survives on what's in an egg until it hatches. With everything in place, I began to make small batches. There was just one ingredient that was causing a problem, the egg. You see, if I'm using hot water and hot oil to make the cream, then how do I get the egg into the formula? If I put it in the water, I get boiled eggs. If you mix the eggs and oil together, you get mayonnaise. Since this was my most important ingredient, it was critical that I found a way to solve this problem. In the end, I don't know how many batches of test cream I actually made. It probably took me about a month working on the weekends to find a solution. When I finally had a cream that I felt would work, I gave it to my mom to try. I told her to put it on at least three to four times a day. By the end of the third week, the results were short of amazing. It seemed to be helping with all of the symptoms, the dryness and the itching, the scaling and flaking, and the best part of all, the redness started to subside and her skin was starting to look normal again. After about two to three months of using this cream, she actually felt confident enough about the look of her skin to go outside in a short sleeve shirt. My mom knew a few other people that suffered with psoriasis, and she asked me to send them some cream as well. Sure enough, they saw the same results. After seeing what this cream can do, my mother encouraged me to try to market and sell this product to other people that suffered with psoriasis. But there was one big problem. Since I was using natural ingredients such as the egg, the formulation was not stable. You basically had to keep the cream refrigerated or it would grow mold over time. So my cream was really not a viable option as a commercial product. So I decided to hire a chemist to work with me in a lab to take what I learned and help me develop a stable formulation. After about six months of work, the formulation was tested and complete. At the end of all this work, the chemist turned to me and said, you know you have to patent this, don't you? She said that eggs had been used in beauty products dating back to the time of Cleopatra. But up to now, no one had figured out a way to incorporate the egg into a cream that actually preserves all of its nutritional content. So this technique that I developed really was unique. And this cream that I created really did change my mother's life. And it was the start of a new beginning for mine. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've inspired you to search for treatment options that are outside the normal realm of big business and prescription drugs. In my next video, you will see how I turn this kitchen science project into my life's work, and I'll finally show you my finished product. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Marinick, and I'll see you in the next